have you heard? Have you heard? The dog whisperers in town. He's at the casino. At the River Rock Casino. I'll have to go down and play some poker. Hi there, DGTV. We're out here at the River Rock Casino in Richmond. We're here today to talk to this guy, Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer. A whole bunch of his fans are here in person to meet and greet. But we also found a few other characters that had a few questions. How can I make myself a better dog? Honesty, integrity, and loyalty is a must to transform your life. Why do I always want to chase cats? Dog mean predator and then breed, Jack Russell, so they're, they're, they were uh, bred for hunting purposes, for rats. What is the most common question humans ask you? Why my dog doesn't listen to me? But to me it's, it's obvious that when a person asks me that question, they're not fulfilling the needs of a dog, you know. Once you fulfill the needs of a dog, you don't even have to tell the dog what you want, he knows what you want. You know, one of the beautiful things about a dog is always acknowledging you, so he's always there with you. Well, what's your favorite breed of dog? You know, I grew up with mutts. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you, I gravitate to, to animals that are misunderstood. Um, and, this, and this time of life, of my life, is the pit bull. In mm -hmm. the 70s, was the Doberman. What's the most common mistake humans make with us dogs? Well, they, they talk to the dog like he's a human being, you know? And so he has his own psychology, his own way of connection, his own way of communication his own rituals. So if we show respect from the beginning, we gain respect back. What can I teach a human? The human tells me the story and the dog tells me the reality. <laughs> what should people keep in mind when picking a dog? This is a very good question, you know, because it's a family, uh, uh, family question. Everybody has to be in agreement. This is when mm -hmm. the agreement begins, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, the family have to say what type of energy we are as a whole. So low, medium, high, very high. Never choose a, a level of energy dog that is higher than your energy. So, what is this Oprah like? As a dog owner, obviously, it's like the rest of the world, which is affection first, you know. And in the business world, she's not affection first. She has rules, boundaries, limitations first, mm -hmm. you know. You, you better know that she is the pack leader, right? So she just not clearly will let you know this, and you must assume your position, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, but in the dog world, she becomes like everybody else. You know, she becomes a dog lover, not a knowledgeable dog lover. What is your goal, dog whisperer? See, most of the time people, or modern people, as I say, are um, unconsciously leaving. Animals are always conscious. They don't know what you do for a living, they just know how you live your life. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, that's the beauty, and that's my goal, to bring to people a level of consciousness, so they can have a harmonious relationship.